Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The people became sad, no gaiety sounded, for Christmas to come, but Santa was grounded. Through his sex exertion, he was stuck on his back, and he soon realized he had a muscle attack. Santa knew without doubt there was only one tactic. He needed the best in chiropractic. Dr. Jeff was the man, this he knew, so the call went out to get in the queue. He entered the office and saw at a glance, in a place such as this, his pain had no chance. The office staff smiled, the music was snappy, with all the patients contented and happy. In a very short time, to judge by the clock, he was in the treatment room talking to the doc. It must be the busyness, the stress and all. I simply can't seem to get on the ball. Life used to be easy, just kids, toys and whistles. Now I dodge drones, spaceships and missiles. And Doc, take a look at the size of this pack. Have you any idea what it does to my back? Poor Santa was miserable and just barely able with the help of the doctor to get on the table. Dr. Jeff was so gentle, without a fuss or tussle, he worked out the vertebrae and relaxed every muscle. He spotted the trouble and then with a click, started lining the spine of old St. Nick. Santa felt the aches and pains slipping away and in no time at all, he began to feel gay. The air was a tingle with new fallen snow and a healthy Kris Kringle was rare and to go. As he went out the door, he threw them a kiss. Why, it had been centuries since he had felt as good as this. Then once more, he shouldered the bag full of toys, his heart overflowing with true Christmas joys. I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.